Hackathon 1 selected. Hackathon 2 also selected. Gap between the two hackathons almost nil. Are my midsum exams going on right now? Yes. When is the first hackathon? Day after tomorrow. When do my midsums end? Also day after tomorrow. Have I been getting any sleep due to the midsums? No. Will I get sufficient sleep in the hackathons? Also, no. Will me and my teammates survive on such less sleep? <sighs> I, I hope so. Just great. There was just one day left for the hackathon and all of us three teams who were going for it hadn't discussed anything yet. So we were on our way to go somewhere quiet and plan what we are gonna do. <laughs> Or so we thought. After a lot of thinking, we finally decided on the idea. We have to make a model that has a camera and has a skin color. If your skin is black or dark shade, you will kill it. And as we know that we have to do some kind of social good from this hackathon. Yes, yes. And we have to solve a lot of social problems. Long term. The hackathon had started today. All of us had finished giving our last mid-sim paper and were directly heading towards the venue now. Or so we thought. Some of us had other plans first, like partaking in gay activities. Okay, so this is Saksham. He's going <laughs> He's going to a hackathon for the first time. So Aditya, some phrases to say so that it doesn't seem like he's coming for the first time. He's coming for the first time. <laughs> 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 that Suzu Ali feeling was not Suzu. <laughs> Bye. So <laughs> yeah, the genuine answer. Things to say so that it doesn't seem like you're going to a hackathon for the first time. Um, confident, Rao. Haan. And if you don't do anything, you'll have to reset your laptop. Also, chat GPT. Fast forward through a bit more tomfoolery and we had finally arrived at the venue. We entered the campus and it was hot. It was really hot. Really, really hot. Uh, does, doesn't matter anyway. Woman detected, opinion rejected. We were already late to arrive, so we immediately got to reading the problem statements and started thinking. The problem statements were pretty unexpected and one could visually see that because even though quite some time had passed, nobody had started making something. Literally everyone had the problem statement page and chat GPT opened on their laptops and we were no exception. Although thankfully after a while we were able to fully finalize our idea which by the way we thought of through the thinking that we did using the minds that we had full credit goes to us nobody else did it for our team because we Once we were done dividing the work, it was time to have lunch. Because making chat GPT do your work also requires energy guys. Trust. Trust. The food we were given was arguably the best I'd ever seen a hackathon provide. It managed to fully charge us up to resume coding. <laughs> All 
three of us teams had started making progress with our projects. And so in the evening, we headed out for more tomfoolery. <laughs> I said Tom Fullery, not gay fun. Do you have a note of 1500? Oh, 1500! Run. By the way, not to flex, but I came second in the race, only next to Manus, who stole the first position. Hear me out. Manus had pooped before coming for this race. While I had been controlling mine since the afternoon, because the washrooms here didn't have the shower cleaning thingy and instead had a jet spray, which I find very uncomfy to use and clean my anus with. So yeah, I had to carry the burden of my poop all throughout the race while Manus was free as a bird. So we can just say that I won in reality. A bit of working on our projects and one mentorship session later, we had dinner, which again, did not disappoint. भाई कहाँ जा रहा है? चम्मच लेना है, चम्मच लेना है। चम्मच में, चम्मच में। Post dinner, there was a whole ass comedy show arranged. Although too bad, all of us participants were engrossed in working on their projects. Before we realized, it was midnight. 